Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to tell you few very basic interview questions from digital electronics. Usually these questions are asked from a fresher or a person with two to three years of experience and sometimes maybe asked from an expert. So let us get started. Question number one is, what is a De Morgan's theorem in Boolean algebra? And the answer is a plus b bar is equal to a bar dot b bar. So this is the first law. a b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar. This is the second de Morgan's theorem. So usually these laws are very much beneficial when we want to reduce our Boolean uh, expressions. And sometimes these are used for converting an SOP expression into POS and vice versa. Where SOP stands for sum of product and POS stands for product of sum. Let's move to our second question. Convert a two input XOR gate into a NOT gate and a buffer. And the answer is when when we want to convert an XOR gate into a NOT gate, tie is one of the input to one. So when you will give zero at the input, you will get one at the output. When you will give one here, you will get zero at the output. Similarly, if you want to convert the XOR gate into a buffer tie is one of input to zero so on the second input when you will give zero you will get zero at the output when you will give one at the input you will get one at the output question number three convert a NAND gate into a NOT gate and the answer is tie both of its input to each other and make a single input so this will work as a NOT gate. If you apply 0 at the input, you will get 1 at the output. If you apply 1 at the input, you will get 0 at the output. And the second solution is, if you tie 1 of its input to 1, so when you will give 0 at the input, you will get 1 at the output. When you will give 1 at the input, you will get 0 at the output. And sometimes, some people recommend third solution as well tie output to one of the input. So when you give zero at the input, surely you will get one at the output and this one will be passed to the other input. Again, it is making it uh, as one only. So when you apply one at input A, in that case, you will get zero and this zero will pass to this B and it will make it 1. This 1 will come here and it will make it 0 and there will be like 0, 1, 0, 1 at the output and there will be a race actually between 1 and 0. This is called race condition and it will form a combinational loop which is very dangerous for digital designs. We always avoid such conditions. So this is not a recommended solution though it appears to be. Question number four, minimum number of NAND gates to implement XOR gate. You may try at your end, but I'm going to tell you the answer. Answer is four, and this is the logic. Question number five, implement a AND gate using two H21 marks. As you know, MUX are digital building blocks. Any logic can be implemented from a MUX. And I'm going to tell you the answer. We need to tie any of the input to the select line and other at the input, at the data input. So let's see how it works. 
So if we tie A at the select line, okay, this is a truth table of AND gate, and when A is 0, Y is always 0, and I know when A is 0, this input is going to pass to Y, and this is always 0. So let us tie it to 0. When A is 1, Y is always equal to B. So that means when A is 1, I know this input is going to pass to Y. So let us tie it to B. So this is how it works as AND gate. Similarly, you can design any other gate. Mega to table. Put A at the select line and see how Y can be formed. Viewers, if you liked my video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to press the like button because each like really matters for me. It gives me encouragement to prepare more videos like this. And in future, I am going to prepare many other videos like this uh, which will be based on VLSI design and CAD, digital electronics, VLSI, Verilog, and I make you assured that these videos will really help you to bring up your skill set in VLSI design. So please subscribe my channel and for notification of the videos, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much.